So today I'm going to take apart this Dyson V11 slash V15 cleaner head. It's the high torque cleaner head and it's also featured on the V11 outside as well. So let's take it apart. So I'm going to remove these two screws and then we can just remove the back panel. Be careful not to punch the rubber. But because I'm taking this head apart for educational reasons only, I'm not going to put this thing back together. But inside here there's some more screws. Just take those apart and then it should come off. Four screws and then it just pulls off like that. Okay, so with the screws one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine removed, what we can then do is lift up the upper cover, but you need a flat screwdriver for this just to pry it out because it is clipped in. So you just lift it up slightly here, pop your screwdriver in there, and it just unclips like that. Yeah. And the same on the other side as well. Just be careful not to bend the plastic too much because you don't want to dent it. It shouldn't really snap to you, to be honest, because it is quite pliable, but just be careful there's a wire under here as well so you don't want to damage that either there's two wires actually i mean but yeah there's your upper cover popped off lift off the wiring it just it's literally that simple okay and the clear cover just lifts off as well and this is the problem with these because these clear windows are clear they get dirty quite quickly but yeah there's the internals as you can see keep in mind this is how it's supposed to look this just slides forward and back it's like a little roller wheel here when you're putting this thing back together, these are the gates at the front, right? Make sure these little plastic pins, there's two on either side, as you can see. Make sure you just put it in like that, okay? And then when you slide it, it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, just like that, okay? So just remember that, keep that in mind. And there's your clear window. You can wash that, wipe it down, polish it, whatever you want, just to make it look like new again. But if your motor is faulty, that can be lifted out as well. So you just bend this out a little bit and then the motor literally lifts out. So the wiring right there, just pull it out and there you are. You've got the motor removed. And then the neck comes off like this as well. Just pull it and twist it. And there you are. That's how simple it is. Now what I want to do is I want to see if these motors have cogs in them because uh, I'm not too sure. I think cogs can increase torque. So I'm just going to just double check to see if these actually have them in there. And this is a motor I'm willing to sacrifice for this. It works fine. I'm just going to do it anyways. All right. But yeah, the wheels come off as well. It's literally just one screw and they just pull off like so. It's that easy, okay? And then you undo these screws here, one on each side. And then once you undo those screws, you can remove this pivoting part right here. I'll just pull that out of there. And then what you do, feed this out of here like that and then you get this piece okay and this is also a cover right here so watch what i'm doing it might look well hidden but it does come off see that and there we go and then to remove the prongs what you do is see in here get a little flat blade screwdriver pull this plastic bit out like so just pull it outwards okay and then it just lifts up on one side and same on the other side as well like that and then you can just pull it out like so. And finally, undo this little screw. And then, there you are. You can pull that out from the wiring, that little piece. And there's the wiring loom, fully freed. Just pull it out. That is absolutely everything. And there's our motor, all free. So there it is, everything all taken apart. See all that dirt that you can't normally reach here because people don't know how to take these heads apart because Dyson make it really difficult to take these apart. But because I have showed you how to take this apart, you can now have an as new vacuum. See, that's where the motor sits. And you can now clean the dust behind there and make your vacuum last even longer. Look at that. And now for the part you do not take apart because it's really, really difficult. But three screws here, I pull this off. There's the motor in there. It looks like a digital motor maybe, but that sleeve holds off as well. And there it is, your motor. Mm. I cannot see any cogs in there. So this thing isn't actually high torque, is it? Where are the cogs? I know for a fact the upright vacuum does have the cogs in there because that is a proper thing and I have taken that apart before. But this, I'm not sure about this one, to be honest. So, yeah. Dyson, please improve the torque in your cordless vacuum brush bars, please. Thank you very much. I've removed this plastic sleeve now, yeah? This is what we got. Here it is, the famous Dyson PCB and the high torque motor where is the cogs though where are the cogs i can't see no cogs in there at all look even with the flashlight can you see in there 
Can you see any cogs at all? Where are they? So there it is, the Dyson PCB and the High Torque Motor. And there's no cogs in these dice, and we're just lying. These things don't have cogs. It's just the upright vacuums that have the cogs in their brush bar motors, not these cordlesses. Well, not this model anyways, with the V11 high torque head and the V15 along with the outsides. Because the outsides is the same thing, isn't it? Just bigger. So, yeah.